This was my uh, grandfather's tractor. He gave me it when I was about 23 years old. And there's actually a picture of me sitting on it when I was about one year old. As for the past 20 or 30 years, it's languished in the corner of various fields and uh, gardens. Because uh, life takes over. And uh, I've never had either the time or the money to do anything with it. It's got the original Howard Rotovator on the back. Now when Grandpa bought the Rotovator, he was going to put the reduction gear, the Howard reduction gear, on the tractor. But his uh, good friend and neighbour Tom England told him not to bother. He said, Jack, it only goes as fast as a baby can crawl in first gear, so uh, try it without. And they tried it without, and having light soil where we lived, it did the job. Now, a couple of years ago, I managed to buy a part reduction gear from somebody. There's a couple of pieces missing, which I'm going to have to make. And it's kind of a lifetime ambition to see this old tractor and rotavator working as it should have done. Now we had it running 10 years ago, <laughs> I know it's 10 years ago because for my 50th birthday they bought me uh, front tyres for it and an exhaust pipe and uh, a replacement seat. Uh, we did get it running and it hasn't run since. So the plan is uh, for this winter to get this old tractor back into the condition it should be in and uh, if enough people subscribe I'll video the whole thing, including fitting the gearbox, and uh, we'll see how we go. Well, I've put some petrol in, and the uh, bowl is slowly, slowly filling up. No petrol coming out of the carburetor yet. Now I've fully opened the tap, with a few drips coming out of the bottom, so it could just be sediment in the bottom of the uh, float chamber. Well now there's far too much coming out of the carburetor, it must be a sticking uh, float valve. I've split the carburetor, it really is quite horrible inside. Uh, this is the dangers of modern petrol. Uh, so we're going to clean that out. The float itself uh, is intact. Okay and uh, the float valve needs a little clean. Other than that, it seems okay, just. I think in the future we'll uh, renovate it and uh, use a repair kit. There's uh, a lot of play on the butterfly shaft, so. The choke shaft had uh, also seized up. I've got it moving and uh, I've decided now what I'm going to do is chuck the thing in the ultrasonic cleaner for an hour uh, with carburetor cleaner and uh, have another look at it later. So they're going away now in the ultrasonic cleaner in uh, a solution of uh, carburetor So I stripped the carburetor to its major components, cleaned it in the ultrasonic cleaner, blew it dry with compressed air and put it back together with a new gasket. And we've made a new gasket for the top as well. So I'm just going to pop it on the tractor and see how... I took the carburetor off complete with the uh, governor linkage because that's the easiest way to do it. Uh, so now we... Uh, you have to tighten these uh, nuts simultaneously because if you tighten uh, the easy one first you can't get the second one on because the stud is too long. Not too tight, just tight enough to uh, compress the gasket. Petrol pipe on.
good, good, good old Fergie, of course, made these uh, half inch AF instead of uh, quarter width width. So the same spanner fits. Now we'll just turn the petrol on and see if. Let's see. Straight away, petrol dripping out of the bottom of the carb. And none coming out of the uh, air intake. So that means the uh, float chamber is working. Good out. Oh. Now battery on, ignition on, and the starter stopped working. Of course it has, because the uh, contacts just in there get all dirty and uh, corroded. So I'm just going to try and short it out with the tractor with a uh, spanner to see if it uh, will start. It's not starting, but it well, I forgot to put the choke on, so we'll try it now with the choke. Good grief, it started. Over the years, this old tractor has surprised me many a time by uh, starting after several years of uh, neglect. And I think this time it might have started if it hadn't a had that modern petrol in it. So do be careful, put the good stuff in your petrol things unless you're going to be using them all the time. Anyway, I'll put it away now. I bet this one won't start though. It's a Super Dexter and uh, one day about 20 years ago it was parked up in a hedge bottom and uh, it stayed there. Uh, I know the fellow who drove it there and he said it was a cracking tractor and you know there isn't a bit of wear on it anywhere it's a crying shame. It's a it's been an interesting tool, it's been a grading tractor and it's got a front and uh, mid blade on it, or did have. Uh, if enough people subscribe to the Fergie video I might just uh, see if we can get this one running.